Vice Vincent Hill has a closer look at the violent crime Baltimore City saw this weekend. Our team coverage starts with Jeff Abel and the letters one group of city council members sent to public safety agencies ahead of this week's hearings. Well, council members are laying the groundwork for what could become a week very contentious budget hearings. But tonight there are questions whether all that talk will result in any real action. In every corner of the city, there are growing concerns that this summer will become another violent summer. Obviously, Costello is worried about crime. Everybody is worried about crime. City Councilman Eric Costello is laying out his demands in letters to the city's crime-fighting agencies, the police department, the sheriff's department, the state's attorney's office, and the mayor's office for neighborhood safety and engagement. The agencies are slated to lay out their proposed budgets before council members next week. And in the letter to the police commissioner, the councilman acknowledges the department's severe staffing shortages, but writes, while shortages are certainly a problem, we cannot allow them to be an excuse. In a letter to Monzi Director Shante Jackson, the councilman demanded a short-term plan for the summer crime fight, writing, we need immediate and effective implementation of short-term strategies to enable the continued progress toward these long-term solutions. Appropriate levels of funding and staffing have already been put Listen in. Listen to how they distance themselves from the problem. Listen to this. Listen, listen. We need immediate, effective implementation of short term strategies to enable continued progress toward long term solutions. Yeah, that's how they write all their shit. Yo, these niggas are out of control. What can we do about these fucking niggas? That's what that's really what he thinks they're saying, but they're saying it in such broad and vague language. Well, all I'm hearing is give us more money. Yeah, but it's still to try to do something about these subwords. Well, right. well, they're asking for free stuff or money. It's all about, yo, these sun words are out of fucking control. Right. Long-term solutions. Appropriate levels of funding and staffing have already been put in place to accomplish this goal. The councilman then demands details of how the agency is spending $50 million in COVID relief funds, how much the agency is spending on staff, how the agency oversees the funding it receives from grants, and how the $1 million it receives to enforce the city's curfew is being spent. You know, the fact that you need a group, and this is their logo, this is their logo. <laughs> Um, this is like a, it's almost like a skit. Like, how is that your logo? <laughs> they should be black, right? The silhouette should be black silhouette. Nah, they shouldn't. They, that would be racist. That was that was racist. Because, because if, was if, you, if we're if we're really honest, in Baltimore City, we come on, guys. We know it's the white people committing crime. Yeah, so. right. Yikes! Yo, this shit is. Absurd. It's almost like it defies reality. Like their logo is a dude holding two separate <laughs> 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 That's This logo sums up, at least when you ask me, America right now. Like this literally is it right Nah, but so who's so who's the person in the middle? What is that? Who is that? That's a that's a um violence interrupter. I mean, yeah, but the metaphor in America, who's, the, who's in the middle in America? Goddamn police, law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Yeah, I'm very confused by this. That, that, yeah. that's, that's the ancestors. Damn. <laughs> oh, it, it's, it's unreal, man, how, how out of control this problem is receives from grants and how the one million dollars receives to enforce the city's curfew is being spent when you look at monzi spending you really truck. need to look at if it's working and if we don't know where the money is going if we only have these number identifiers and we don't know exactly who monzi is paying and engaging with we don't know at budget hearings last year council members made similar demands I'm absolutely disgusted with the state of public safety in this city. What the people is saying to me, councilman, we need things done immediately. Taxpayer advocate David Williams fears the talk that's already buzzing this year may never produce any real action. A lot of money is being spent and now you have grandstanding by the city council because what happens? What is the next step? 
we never see the next step in any of these problems and issues. Agency directors are expected to appear before the City Council's Ways and Means Committee within the next two weeks. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.